the fastest and easiest way to complete collections, get the best cards in the game. And they'll be the show 23 stubs U4GM. Link is in the description. Let's go. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to go over cards that you need to watch over the next 24 to 48 hours and then go pick them up at their lowest. Okay? This Randy that you have on the screen, he's kind of on a cold streak right now, but he's up to an 84 overall. We have three weeks before the roster update. It won't take much for him to heat back up. Yandy Diaz on the raise is another great, great card that you need to watch. If you can get him under 1700, scoop him up. Framber Veldas over the next three weeks, if he can keep his walks down, another good pickup. This 84 for the Red Sox is a beast. Let him drop about 80 more stubs. Get yourself about 20 to 25 of them. You're going to be making a lot of stubs. The boy has been hitting lights out. Tomorrow, I'm going to give you more of a breakdown of the stats and why it will help the cards upgrade. As you can see on Inside Edge, they are playing up to a certain number. 84 overall, Bo Bichette. He didn't get upgraded last roster update. Let his price drop down so people can forget about him. Go get yourself 20 to 30 of them. If you have 20 to 30 or more of each of these investments, you're going to be easily sitting around 200,000 stub profit. Now, this card right here is my number one card that I'm going to make sure I have 40 or more of Corbin Correll. The boy just came out of nowhere. He's been a beast in the number three, number four spot for Arizona. They are having a breakout season. Make sure that you watch him. Watch out for Wander Franco. He's starting to hit more consistent. Switch hitter, a lot of speed. They're going to have to up his speed. His speed is at 68. He should be close to the 78, 80 range, okay? Make sure that you are getting all these cards, 20 minimum, and then up to about 40 cards so you can have between 150 to 300,000 stub profit. Stay tuned.